The government's now putting a national ID card together and they want checkpoints. We will be carrying our papers and they have recommended there be checkpoints uh, throughout the country. Isn't that what Nazi Germany did that everybody in America was against? Papers, please. May I see your papers? May you see your papers? I don't think I have them on me. In that case, we'll have to ask you to come along. Wait, it's possible that, uh, yes. Here we are. These papers expired three weeks ago. You have to come along. Halt! Halt! Papers, please, coming soon. As we said, they're going to be coming out with all these tracking things. This is all part of the plan. Mass tracking COVID pass immunity passports to be rolled out in 15 countries. This article on Zero Hedge says Kovi Pass promises to work as digital health passport, allowing users deemed uninfected to attend public gatherings, among other privileges. Gates goes on to predict that the ability to attend public events in the near future will depend on the discovery of, of an effective treatment. But he remains pessimistic that any such cure will be good enough in the short term to make people feel safe to go out again. These warnings by the multi-billionaire dovetail perfectly with the stated purposes of the aforementioned Kovi Pass, whose development is also being carried out in partnership with Red Strike Group, a sports marketing consultancy firm that is working with England's Premier League and their Project Restart. The company called VST now has a direct partnership with the UK government and has secured contracts to deploy its technology in 15 countries, including Italy, Portugal, France, India, the US, Canada, Sweden, Spain, South Africa, Mexico, United Arab Emirates, and the Netherlands. And here was an interesting part. The article says, in a recent interview, the deputy director of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Hassan Damluji, derided the idea that the COVID-19 pandemic was in any way subsiding and even warned that far from receding, the pandemic was deep into wave three. That's interesting. I thought this was two. Maybe they already moved into wave three. And we'll get into that a little bit, how they are uh, doing that in places like the U.S. right now. And his remarks were specifically targeted to the very regions he oversees for the foundation, which include the Middle East and parts of Asia, which he stressed would be the focus of the next wave. So... Pardon? No. Son lindos. <laughs> so he's actually saying the, uh, their, their next uh, wave is going to be focused on the Middle East and parts of Asia. So that's, that's nice that he's letting everyone know where they're going to do their next big stuff. And I'm glad to hear it's not uh, here in Mexico, for example. It's going to be in the Middle East and parts of Asia. So watch for that in the next few weeks as they bump up all those numbers, because that's basically all they're doing. 